How's it going everybody? Today we are going to take a look at the flag controlled while, while loop. Um, a flag is basically um, it can be used as a, a boolean variable and when basically you set it to false and if certain conditions in a while loop become true you set the flag to true and the while loop ex um, exits. So here we have two integers, a num1 and a count. We initialize that to zero. And this while while loop will execute as long as flag returns false while it not while no flag. <clears throat> Basically, we're just going to prompt the user to enter numbers, gather the um, input. We're not going to really do anything with the input, and we'll just increment count. And we test count here in an if loop. Um, if count is greater than or equal to five, we set the flag variable to true and the loop executes. So basically we're going to enter five numbers and quit. And that's all this while loop will do. Let's go ahead and check that out. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's that's for the next part. So there you go. That's ba the basic um, implementation of a flag controlled while loop. I'm going to go ahead and comment this part out here. Okay, um, you can also use it basically like um, this is how you tell like when you're playing a video game and a player is dead usually when their health reaches zero or below zero so I, I have a little example here we have two integers one called health we initialize that to 100 and damage we have another boolean called is dead is false and this while loop will execute as long as it is dead um, returns false while not is dead basically is what this is saying um, so we're going to prompt the user to enter the damage, um, gather their input, and then we're going to take the damage from the health and store that result in health. Then we're going to test the health. If health is less than or equal to zero, is dead, is true. Um, and we're going also to output the current health. And if health is equal to zero, or actually we need to do less than or equal to zero player is dead because if it was equal to zero it only would output that if the health was zero however in this case the user could enter more damage than health which would give you know the, the health negative numbers so let's go ahead and run this okay enter damage let's go with one so now 100 minus one is 99 so we are sitting at 99 here let's hit um, enter 33 we're down to 66. Let's enter 60. We're down to 6. Let's enter 5. We're at 1. And we can have 0. You know, we'll, we'll be at 1. And then we'll have another 4 damage. Negative 3. Player is dead. Okay. So basically, they're a good way to test, um, to keep a while loop running um, until certain conditions are met. Um, it can also be looked at, you know, as a counter-controlled while loop, but this uses um, a Boolean variable, you know, um, as known as a flag versus, you know, another variable. I have one more example here. Um, this program, mini program right here, will calculate um, a Fibonacci number at whatever position the user enters. Um, we have five integer variables, pre1, pre2, which is my short version for previous current counter and nth Fibonacci or the desired Fibonacci so we're going to prompt the user to enter first two Fibonacci numbers gather the input and store them in pre 1 and pre 2 um, output to the user what they entered and then enter the position of the desired Fibonacci number we'll gather their input and then basically if they enter one um, that means basically that the Fibonacci number will be 1 because down here we are outputting the current which is our desired result here. Likewise if they enter 2 then the result will be 2 because the Fibonacci sequence adds two numbers consecutively and then uses that result to add the next number and uses that result to add the next number so on and so forth. So if both of these cases um, are not true then we're going to continue with this else statement here we need to set the counter at three because we're starting counting from the third number now and this while loop will executes while the counter is less than or equal to 
the desired Fibonacci number. So we're going to add pre-1 and pre-2, we store that in current, then we move pre-2 to pre-1 and current to pre-2. And then we're going to add those together again and again, increase the counter. <clears throat> and basically it will just continue to execute until it hits the result. And finally, we will output the result here. So it doesn't really use a flag. Um, you could have put, you know, while counter is um, had a, a Boolean variable in there and tested that in the while loop against the counter. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and run this. Okay, the first two Fibonacci numbers. We'll start with one and two. Enter the desired position of the Fibonacci number, six. So the Fibonacci number at position six is 13. Um, and you can get pretty, you know, you can get pretty crazy with this. Let's go um, 78 and 100. So that will f start the first number at 178, or th from the uh, nth Fibonacci sequence anyway. And let's, let's see, if, 10 here. So the result would be 5,038. So that is basically all we're going to cover for now. Um, that's the uh, basic implementations of a flag controlled while loop. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you for my next video.